Sharing our ambitions with a faculty esteemed At Acme University we'll earn our two degree The teaching staff's been getting less Since 1933 We're classmates and roommates We paid the out of state It's private but single class is about to start They're furry, they're funny We're bats and buster bunny Their comedy is funny and a friendship's guaranteed Captain is worried and Sweetie's a tough birdie And if you're lucky, Plucky is the perfect enemy So here's where the greatest tunes all got their humble start There's quite a lot of history from teaching loony arts We're tiny, we're teeny, we can't wait to be loony When the bell has to come in and join the fun And now class has begun embarrassing how utterly skilled I am in so many arenas. One of which, and this is very impressive, take notes, Daffy Duck cannot be fooled. Cannot be fooled, cannot be fooled. <laughs> Part of the reason is my superior wit, which you've been able to witness time and time again this semester. But if I'm being truly honest, it's my buckets and buckets of two tact. <laughs> so, you think you've bamboozled a great, huh? Gotten one over on an icon? Lambasted a luminary? Well, you have. Excellent job on absorbing my genius lectures. <sighs> have a great spring break, kids. <laughs> 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 Till everyone is gone and old Sam can get some peace and quiet. I can snooze in my terry cloth robe, upload all of my pictures, and of course, enjoy some sweet, sweet silence. I can't believe it's spring break already. It feels like just yesterday we had our first drinks at the Lou Brew. Which I've heirloomed. <laughs> Being separated from me for one full week is going to be traumatizing for both of you. So I made some commemorative dolls. You look tired today. Thanks. Burrowville, here we come. I'm going to tell Mom about everything. Our amazing grades, all the famous tunes we've met. Oh, we'll be home just in time for the Burrowville Burst and <gasps> The what? It's only the biggest funny festival ever. Get the burst of blade, deep fried parsnips, and parsnip. And every year, me, Buster, and Mom sing together in a talent show. Please go on. I'm riveted. I'll be spending my break traveling with my genius parents to culturally enlightened destinations. Paris, Egypt, Flagstaff. What fun to see all kinds of different places and things. Oh, 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 My moms have a big art opening happening tomorrow. The theme, it's all about sticking it to the man. Oh, I would love to see that. It's pretty cool. I modeled for one of the statues called Stink Eye. <laughs> Mother wants me to meet her in Acme Acres for the first stop of her Who You Laughing At tour. <laughs> the night before her show, she makes me heckle her for practice. I'm really good at it. That joke barely made me pee my pants at all from laughter. Hampton and I are taking the train together to Acme Acres. I'm excited because it means I won't have to sit next to someone who plays music out of their phone speaker. And I'm excited because I won't have to ride a scary train alone. It's so easy. I've been taking public transportation my whole life. <gasps> we better get going if we want to catch the 4.30. Gotta get seats together before the penguins get on. They travel in groups. Call me the second anything does or doesn't happen, and we'll talk all about it, okay? <sighs> okay. Plucky, I won't miss the snoring, but I will miss the friendship. 
I don't snore. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I have an EVA system! When are your parents coming to pick you up? <laughs> My parents would never pick me up. They would do something outlandish, like send a hot air balloon. It's probably just stuck in balloon traffic. Hello, please suffer it. Maria! <laughs> Where are you? We're traipsing across archaeological sites with the finest accommodations. Sounds fun. However, it's my spring break, Maria! Oh, quackert. <laughs> I thought it was next week. We'll figure something out. In the meantime, try to enjoy your spring break, Plucky. Something wrong? Besides you calling your parents by their first names? We're all equals in the Duck family. Ralph and Maria have uncharacteristically taken off for an adventure without me. <laughs> it's actually a sign of my maturity that they'd make a mistake like this. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do for spring break? I'll stay here. It's fine. Excuse me, I have to inspect the inside of my shirt. <laughs> He'll be fine, right? For sure. Get out of here so I can get this tarnation vacation started! <sighs> Alone at last. So trains are uh, safe, right? Totally. Oh, what's that sound? Is it an emergency? I'm so young! <laughs> Chill, Hampton. It's not possible. Ever taking a nap on a train? Close my eyes while moving. I don't know. Sounds pretty ambitious. Oh, it's the best. It's like being a baby rocked to sleep. Minus all the pooping in a diaper. I've never slept on public transit. Just like being back in the egg. <laughs> Unless it's snowing in spring. Last stop, Klondike! Everyone off! Klondike! Oh, cool! I've never been this far north! How was your nap? Delightful! However, I would have skipped it had you told me there was a possibility I'd wake up in the wrong place! <laughs> Aww! <sighs> Burrow, sweet Burrow. What has two ears, a natural sense of style, and makes a mean gravy? Tom! <laughs> Plucky? What did you do with Buster's clothes? Ha! Ugh. Oh, I didn't know you were bringing a friend. Neither did we. Plucky, it's so surprising to see you at our beloved home where we did not invite you. My holiday plan fell through. <laughs> His family abandoned him. I figured a town like Burrowville would benefit greatly from the presence of a brilliant, talented duck like myself. Well, you're welcome here, Plucky, you sweet <gasps> little thing.
Magno della Patata. Yeah! Well done! <laughs> Pigs aren't made for the snow. This is not a problem. Once, I was deep into a book and got off at honkers. I waited ten minutes and boom! Another train took me right back. Excuse me, my good man. When's the next train to Acme Acres? Sorry, uh, should be coming any minute now. Just clearing the tracks with my tiny shovel. Told ya, nothing to worry about. Sorry, it's gonna change the schedule. Uh, what do you mean? Sorry, but uh, I probably won't be able to get a train in here for two to three weeks. I only got the one shovel, don't you know? And uh, it's not that big. As a matter of fact, it's pretty tiny. Sorry. We've gotta find a way to get back home. What would Mother tell me to do? Hello, helpful stranger. My name is Hampton J. Pig, and I am lost in this insert location. Please call my mother on the number listed below. Ooh, the phones are out too, sorry. Ah! Hampton, we're fine! I'll just fly us out of here, okay? Hop on! Oh, oh no, I will fly when pigs fly. I'm not made for 10,000 feet. I fly at 20,000. So twice as scary! <laughs> no way, forget it! Sure wish I could help, but it's really just me and, uh... Your tiny shovel. We know. We're home! We're home! Bertha! <gasps> Missed you guys. Tell us everything about school. Well, I'll bet you're the biggest stars on campus. Well, I guess you... Can I have your autograph? Oh, I bet it'll be worth a lot one day. <clears throat> Everyone, meet... Plucky. We pre-apologize for everything he does. What an overwhelming number of rabbits. <laughs> Somebody guard the carrots. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a duck. Real feathers! Can you really swim? What's it like to fly home for the winter? Oh, of course you're fascinated with me. Not only am I a creature of another design, I am also smart, talented, and adorable. <laughs> Everyone seems to like him. Yeah. Are they looking at the same duck we are? Plucky, you should perform with us in the talent show at the Parsnip Festival. No, 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 no! That's not a good idea! Why not? Because it's cartoons from Burrowville. He's not from here, so he can't participate. Oh, Buster, come on! It's a bad idea! Well, I've never been one to seek the spotlight. Oh, it's too bad, because you got the goods! Flattery will get you <laughs> everywhere. I'm in! They'll be over him in a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they will. Isn't this decrepit saloon exciting? I, I wouldn't use the word exciting. Milk. Warm. Not from around here, eh? How'd you end up in Klondike? We missed our stop and we need some help real bad. I gotta get to Mother and Ike Me Acres. Huh? The only tune wild enough to go anywhere in this blizzard is intimidating Irvin and his dog sled. <laughs> what do you want, pig? Uh, hmm. Hampton J. Pig. <laughs> Pleased to make your acquaintance, Mr. Intimidating Sir. I don't make acquaintances. Hey, no one talks to my friend that way. <laughs> I like your moxie, bird. Now what do you want? Take us to Acme Acres on your dog sled. What's in it for me? I take knuckle sandwiches off the menu. <laughs> I don't really think I'm comfortable riding on 
a dog sled. Oh, I thought a dog sled was pulled by dogs. What is this, the 1800s? Kids, I'll have you back in Acme Acres before you can say Arctic Tundra. Come on, Hampton. Hope you like a bumpy ride. I do. I don't. Ah! Can't wait to sleep in our childhood bed. Those soft sheets, perfect drool stained pillows, and my toys. <laughs> to a low-end gym! We gotta tell Mom! Oh, Carrots, I meant to warn you, but well, I got caught up in one of Plucky's stories about outsmarting a, a rogue punching glove. <laughs> Mom! Where are we supposed to sleep? What a silly question! Right here! <laughs> Bashara, dear, where can I unfurl my shirts? Oh, I'll also need an area for my beak moisturizers. For special guests. <gasps> bed, 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 bed. Ooh, silky, fluffy, bouncy. Oh, the duck approves. Does it feel like we've been forgotten, forsaken, forgot? Yeah, I mean, between this being turned into a weight room and the way she fawns over Plucky, <sighs> I don't know. I do know. It's like we're not even here. We gotta get Mom's attention. My hands, clammy, fever, raging. We can't lie to Mom about being sick. We're not lying. We're acting. We are Barrowville's most talented performers. <laughs> You're right about that. Got me in a rough spot here, partner. Hoo-hoo! Checkmate! <gasps> Doggone, Sam, you got me again! Sure is fun here, all by my lonesome. <laughs> yep, just me and my solitude. Stop for gas at the last exit. Intimidating Irvin, you leave that squirrel alone and take us home. Intimidating Irvin, intimidating Irvin. He's a really fast runner. Can't believe we trusted a tune on a snowmobile. That lifestyle is too wild. Hampton, just let me fly us out of here. You can close your eyes. You don't even need to see how high up we are. But I'll know how high up we are. My hooves just dangling in the jet stream. <laughs> okay, then we gotta find another way back to Acme Acres. <gasps> Went to a doomsday camp last summer. Next time, I'll show you how to make a battery out of yoga pants and toaster oven parts. <laughs> I hope there's not a next time. Ain't so bad.
honey bunnies. How are you feeling? Just awful. But it's a little bit better sleeping in your big cozy bed. And sorry you can't spend more time with Plucky. It's been great seeing how much you all love him. It's okay, my sweet little twins. I just want the two of you to get better. We love you, Mom. We can't wait to do the bunny talent show with you. No, 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 no. You're far too sick for that. What? <gasps> you can't do the talent show. But I can. Shame you'll miss your mom's and my routine. Ah! Actually, I don't think we're that sick. We're fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Your temperature was 206. Now, let's just tuck you in here. You need your rest. Allow my likeness to comfort you in your illness. Oh, you're too sweet, Plucky. The world needs more compassionate souls like me. Let's warm up our instruments. I'm right here. And I'm right here, baby, right here. Mom's doing our routine with someone else. We've been replaced with Plucky. Shirley, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm not here. I'm at a silent yoga retreat, but it was too quiet, so my astral projection is just wandering around. Oh, that still tickles. <laughs> We're perishing in the jungle. Please help us. I'll see what I can do. We're lost. We're so lost. We wouldn't be if Hampton wasn't afraid of me flying us to Acme Acres. Do you see me? For the 80 millionth time, I'm a pig, not a bird. I walk on land, I dine on fine slop, and I do not, under any circumstances, let these tootsies cruise at any altitude. Follow me. Don't forget to buckle up, Plucky. Of course I'm buckling up. Vehicular safety is of the utmost importance to a tune like me. This is not how we thought this was going to go. We lied to Mom. And it totally backfired. But most importantly, we lied to Mom. You're right. We never lied to Mom. I still text her every time I eat candy after 6.30 p.m. What do we do? We can't stay here and let Mom perform without us, but we can show our faces at the festival or she'll know we lied. Oh, no! She's going to take out our fridge art! Not more Lisa! My fourth grade art teacher called it exceptional! Lucky replaced us! He's going to take the stage and sing with our bow! And we'll have nothing! 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 What's the capital of South Dakota forgotten? <laughs> Plot was solid overall, but I wanted to know more about why Diana left her husband. Thoughts on that? Any opinions on the setting? Font type? Cover? <sighs> Anyone? Shirley, we seem to be going deeper into the terror jungle. <laughs> I'm not a seasoned traveler like yourself, but uh, that, to me, uh, seems like a bad thing. Really, Hampton? <sighs> I'm supposed to be with Mother in Acme Acres, not lost with sticky skin and wet hooves all because you wanted to take the train. You'd rather be listening to your mom's same jokes instead of embracing the epic journey that dropped in our laps. Yes! And for your information, she's got a new type 5 about how hard it is to find good pants these days. Well, that's actually really relatable, and I'm glad someone is finally talking about how unrealistic fashion sizing is. But you're still being a worry war! Ugh, you gotta stop stressing out and ruining the adventure! This is not an adventure. This is a catastrophe. How dare you! discordance between you. What tipped you off? Was it my spiraling panic that my friend is handling with aggressive denial? I'm not in denial. That's what a turn of denial would say. Oh, I'm so mad I could spit. Hmm, I might have a solution to your disharmony. I just wish there was a... Well, that 
did nothing. Where's Shirley? Oh, look, a screaming cockatoo. What? <laughs> what is happening? What's going on? I'm like suddenly filled with the river of anxiety. You look like me! And you look like me! <laughs> We've been body switch! <sighs> I was gonna say that. No way! The twins are here! Baba! Look at you <laughs> little cuties! <laughs> what are you doing here? It's leg day. I've been using mom's home gym. You mean our old room? College kids. Ugh. Wait, why are you here? It's spring break! Spring break? Ugh, I remember those days! Sitting on the beach, listening to music, squeezing in some tricep dips. Oh, gross. Are you guys sick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Well, I guess you need a heaping dose of Bubba Bunny's TLC. Great. Now we're lying to Bubba, too. Oh, this is how it starts. One lie leads to a thousand. The next thing you know, we're in a multi-tune marketing campaign. I will not leverage my friend group. We have to come clean. No, we can't. We're in too deep. We can't turn back now. I got just what you need to get you back to 100%. I can't believe you're not singing with mom this year. You sing every year with her. To see Burrowville Daily without a story about you three. Oh, man. To turn on the radio and not hear you all interviewed about your outstanding performance. And instead, it's going to be mom and Lucky. I'm sure he's cool, but not as cool as you two. You lied? You know what we do to liars in the bunny house? <laughs> we hug them! <laughs> we feel terrible! But if we think about it, it's really Plucky's fault for coming in and impressing everyone. Oh, <laughs> sounds like someone's a little jealous. You don't know how hard it is to see Plucky hugging all of Mom's attention. Uh, yeah, I do. I was mom's first, and then she had another buddy, and then another, and another. Each time, I got jealous that all these bunnies were taking away mom's attention. You? Jealous? But you're the most supportive brother a bunny could ask for. I am now, but I wasn't always. What changed? I realized that love is like a pie. It's delicious on cheat days. But also, love is not like a pie because there's always plenty to go around. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, we do. Love is like an infinite pie. Oh, yeah, I like that. Much shorter. Our mom is the best mom in the world, and she wants everyone to feel at home here. Remember when I brought home my buddy from the Mr. Luniverse competition? That frightening hawk? And everyone was like, he's gonna eat us! He's gonna eat us! But mom made him feel at home. Mom wants everyone to feel comfortable here, even our natural predators. Oh, she's the best. Mom was just making Plucky feel at home. How could we not see it? Everyone was so welcoming, except for us. We should apologize to Mom. And to Plucky. Ah, yes, and apologize to Plucky. It's the right thing to do. This is worse than the time I tried to do the Floss Museum using the audio tour instead of the guided tour. Whoa. Your bones are so dense. Ugh! Gravity is a cruel mistress. Shirley! You get back here and put us in the right bodies, you spiritual weirdo! Uh, so we're stuck like this. <laughs> Forever! This is a nightmare! I need to think! I'll come with you. I'm a great thinking buddy. I need to think alone. You would have never gotten in this situation if you would have just let me fly us home! <sighs> Feast your eyes on the world's biggest parsnip! We got your deep fried parsnips! We got your deeper fried parsnips! We got your deepest fried parsnips! Step right up against the weight of a parsnip! <laughs> 
Win a parsnip. So after the spin, jazz hands and then the lift. Got it? Got it. And don't you forget to have fun. Oh, <laughs> I find joy in knowing how much joy I bring to others. Oh, <laughs> well. Would you mind adjusting my hat? It doesn't seem to be fitting right. Oh, this is the hat Buster wears when we perform. <sighs> What's the matter? I wish Babs and Buster were here. Yes. Maternal instincts can cause all kinds of irrational thoughts. <laughs> I'm sorry you must endure them. We've got 15 minutes till showtime! We can make it! If we run faster than we ever have before. We're not getting any closer! Keep running! She's gonna kick me off the family cell phone plan! No. I'm so darn lonely, I named all of my fingers. Isn't that right, Gary? When you varmint's coming back, I miss you! You hear me? I miss you! No. Sweetie! I mean, Hampton! It's me, Hampton! I mean, sweetie! Disappears for hours when they body swapped with a friend. It's outrageous. You can't just give up when things get difficult. You've got to face them head on. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good advice. Sweetie, where are you? Help! She'll stand in five. We're not gonna make it! I was trying to offer you a ride, but you two ran off so fast. Let's get hopping! Oopsie, parking brake was on. Festival, here we try! It's dark down here! Damp! I feel so helpless and out of control! I'm scared. My therapist calls that a case of the Hamptons! I can't fly out of here in your body! I'm stuck! You have to fly down and save me! Uh -huh. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. Now try again! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm flying! <laughs> oh, wow, this isn't as scary as I thought. Woohoo! Look at you go! Fly down and get me! Sure thing! Oh, the breeze is nice. <laughs> Hello, butterfly! Hello, treetops! Hello! Captain! All right, Oof. got carried away, carrying myself away. What an adventure. Uh. Hampton, you did it! You know, being s uh, uh, sweetie made me realize you're built for fast-paced adventure. I get how I might slow you down with my worrying. Thanks. While I was down there in that dark, scary hole, I thought, this is what Hampton must feel like when he's in uncomfortable situations. It's the opposite of an adventure. Oh, yeah, it's terrifying. I've ruined several pairs of shorts. I'm really sorry. Me too. Let's start fresh. From this moment on, we'll try to be more understanding of each other. And the peace in your friendship is palpable and beautiful. Thank you. You've earned this moment. It's time for me to tell you the way back to Acme Acres. The way back. Shirley, <laughs> wait! How do we get back to Acme Acres? I have no idea where we are. Sweetie, look! 
take us about a week to walk there. How long would it take us to fly? Wait, Hampton, do you feel comfortable flying on my back? Thanks for asking, sweetie. But this pig is ready for adventure. Nah, gotta go help Bashir and Bertha. They're in a little tiff about someone eating leftover cake in the fridge. <laughs> a big bro's job is never done. Never lie to mom again. Duh. Ah, <sighs> Plucky. I'm really happy you're here with me. I'm also happy we're able to experience me together. You know, Buster and Babs are really lucky to have a friend like you. <clears throat> I prefer the labels mentor or life coach, but, uh... Yes, they are. Hey, if they show up, what do you say we bring them on stage? Mm, they seem so thick. Oh, they're not sick. What? That was an act? Oh, as a professionally trained thespian, I have to say, I'm impressed. They were feeling a little jealous and were faking it. How do you know? Moms always know. She's not on stage yet. Mom! And Plucky, but mostly Mom! Babs! Buster! I thought you two were, uh, sick? <sighs> we're not. We're sorry we lied to you, Mom. We'll never do it again! <gasps> also, I had an apple after 6.30 p.m. three weeks ago. I know it's not candy, but it still has sugar! And Plucky, we're sorry we weren't more welcoming to you. You're both? Sorry? Mm-hmm. There's plenty of mom attention to go around. Just like Infinite Pie. You lost me at the end there. This saccharine display of emotion isn't really my thing. But I'll make an exception. Oh, Plucky, you are always welcome here. And the next time one of your friend's families abandons him. More of a scheduling conundrum. Or when someone needs us desperately. Desperately is a very strong word. We step up for them. Now, Plucky had a great idea that you two should join us out there. What can I say? I'm a very good friend who will be taking the top harmony. The Hampton in me wants to get to Acme Acres lickety split, but the sweetie in me says we should forget the plan and go say hi to our friends. There huh? they are. <gasps> <gasps> Moms, what are you doing here? We talked to Bashara. She said Plucky was here, so we thought maybe everyone was. We hopped in our practical crossover and came looking for my darling little rabble rouser. <laughs> <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Isn't she cute when she's angry? I'm angry when I'm angry. Oh, my little ham ham. Are you okay? Did anything bad happen? Safety check. I went on a train, made a dog friend, saw a squirrel, lost my dog friend, saw some snow, saw a waterfall, talked to Spirit Shirley, saw a pond, and learned how to fly. Look at my little ham ham getting out of his comfort zone. Oh, she's the cutest. Such a thing. 
is the same as the French claxon de pear? Horn of the dirt? It must be the same vegetable. Ahem. I figured out how to change our plane reservation. Turns out you can do it right on your phone. We know it was important for you to spend time together on your spring break. Um, <laughs> how did you know? I found an app for that, too. <gasps> Maria, Ralph, I know we're not a sentimental kind of familial unit, but I really needed this. Oh, it's so good to see ya! Ha ha! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, you did! Ha ha ha! Welcome back, you beautiful varmints! 